welcome to the strategic level case study industry analysis video for the November 2023 and February 2024 sessions. You already know what your pre-scene is. So this document and brief presentation will actually help you understand what the industry is. So number one, the aim of the document is to familiarize yourself with the industry in question. Number two, in addition to familiarizing yourself with the basic overview of the industry, we'll also have a look at what are the trends, the general and technological trends of the industry, the challenges faced in the industry currently, and what the future of the industry holds. Thirdly, you will also benefit from this document because we would like for you to use the information given in this document. Um, the, the key aspects such as what are the technological trends, uh, how sustainable is the industry, what are the challenges the industry faces. Or for an example, from the news report section, uh, what are real world companies doing today in this industry? Use it, incorporate it in your answer because at the strategic level, you are expected to give answers that are of strategic importance uh, that show that you are a key player in understanding the direction and the future of the industry. So therefore, understanding the industry, knowing where the industry is heading and also knowing what real companies are doing in the real world today will help you present a good answer at your strategic case study. So we have the brief table of contents of what these slides will cover. So let's have a look at the overview of the industry. So in general, I would say if you're doing research on your own, if you want to, which I don't think is necessary, this industry falls into the warehouse equipment market or the material handling equipment market. So most often you will find uh, relevant information when you talk about the material handling equipment market. Of course, the material handling equipment market contains a little bit more than the warehouse equipment market because the warehouse equipment market is narrowing the material handling equipment market further. But of course, it's the same industry. So what does it include? It includes a variety of tools, vehicles, warehouses, equipment, and accessories involved in the transport, storage, control, calculation, and counting of products at any stage of the manufacturing process, distribution, or disposal. So basically, equipment you need to have at a warehouse. So these equipment will vary from transportation equipment to equipment to position material, to equipment we store, our material in and other equipment. So these are the categories of the different warehouse equipment. So if you look at the global market, the market was valued at 216.18 billion dollars in 2022 and is expected to grow by 5.7%, a compound annual growth rate of 5.7% to 319 billion by 2029. So this gives you an indication that the industry is not stagnant. It is not going to be stagnant. It is going to grow. But of course, as we go through the slides, you can have a look at what is going to compel growth or what is going to induce growth. So of course, the growth is caused by the need to reduce human intervention at warehouses through automation and robotics. So the future of the industry, therefore, is through automating the warehouse handling equipment market. So this is definitely going to be highly relevant to robo Bryce and whatever initiating we have. So just to give you an idea, we have a slide on the market ecosystem. So if you look at the warehouse equipment market, you, you, we could divide it by equipment types. So we have robots, then we have ASRS, 
then we have AGV, we have conveyor and sorting systems, cranes. Then you have by system type, by function assembly, uh, sorry, function or application type, whether it's used for warehousing. So this is where we are a subsegment. Warehousing is a subsegment of material handling. Then by software, the different softwares that we could use in a warehouse and based on the industry that uses it. So this is a good concise comprehensive chart or image that shows you what the market looks like so how do we divide the market the warehouse equipment market by the type of equipment it uses by the software it uses by the industries that use this the products from this industry or market and the function so let's move on to other aspects from the industry overview so like I mentioned the industry has gone through a technological boom from simple equipment for warehouses now the trend is robots more automation less human intervention and quicker processors where is the growth coming from the growth is coming mainly from Americas or North America and it's focused to it's forecast to have the highest growth rate in the forecast period. So now let's have a look at some images. So if you look at this, we can see the material handling equipment type and the level of automation. So if you look at there are five equipment categories categories address material movement needs with automation playing a major role in warehouse management so we can see a lot of the demand or a lot of the material handling equipment coming from mostly from greater amount of automation so agvs to asrs to robotic systems move away from the manual systems of managing a warehouse to automate it. So now we'll talk about what the industry uh, competition is like in terms of the real world companies. So the industry is consolidated characterized by intense competition. So consolidated would mean that there are big companies, big brands, and we go to the second point along with this, organic and inorganic approaches to sustain competition. So growth through acquisitions, or even if it's not acquisitions, developing your own warehouse equipment solutions promote growth. So we have many examples of how players, for, for an example, Toyota material handling, launch, mall, and mouse automated guided carts. The product is expected to allow custom customers to automate repetitive operational tasks suitable for assembly lines, distribution centers, warehouses, and manufacturing plants. So organic growth from Toyota. So we have a few real world companies. These are the top players in the industry, which I recommend. If you want to know more, go to the websites of these companies, especially some of the top players that you may be familiar with, such as Honeywell. Uh, we have uh, Toyota. We have Buma Group. So go to these websites and see what kind of equipment do they have what are their initiatives what are their sustainable initiatives what are their technological initiatives what do they offer what don't we offer so look at them like they were a competitor of us what are they doing that we are not doing and what could we improve on so this i would say is your homework when it comes to these real world companies